All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Ph. Darren, the guy with no PhD, but depends on who you ask. I got a PhD. All right, so right now I have an iPad in front of me, sitting on my lap, like this. You see uh, the drawing of an eagle I've done before. Eh. It's probably one of my favorite drawings. I have better drawings, but for some reason it was this eagle that just really made me proud. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing right now is we're gonna do some five to 10 minute sketches. I'm not gonna be paying attention to the time as much. Nope. But then again, I am. Let's go ahead and have my handy dandy iPhone right here uh, and put it on that. So yeah, timer. No shit, no timer, I need a stopwatch. So I'm gonna open up the iPad app Procreate and I'm deleting an image right now that I had just got done doing. I just freaking shot this. Uh, piss me off, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new canvas in eight by 10 high res. Uh, my backgrounds are gray for a reason. Um, that way, and I, I'm gonna use that color. The reason for it, I can actually do that, right? And then if I wanna go white, I can actually put whites or highlights in an area that's not on a white piece of paper. I don't like white canvases like that because then highlights are nil. Um, they don't even show up, right? If anything, use your eraser. And uh, so I'm gonna go back to that. Just so you guys know, I'm using uh, a sketching, right? Not This is not the stock one. There is no line detail brush on the sketching part. I added that in there. You can see the little squiggly line on the far right that shows that. Uh, I have uh, other brushes from other people, some that I paid for, some that I didn't. Some are giving them away for free, but you could donate. And because uh, you always hear the starving artist concept and stuff like that, either way, I like to support somebody. If you can make an art brush better than the one I made, I'll, I'll use it. I'll kick you a couple bucks. Um, but to be honest with you, I kind of stopped doing that. If you can't draw with the brushes that you have, you're not going to be able to draw anyway. Uh, I use these five to 10 minute sketches as a warm up for my eyes, my shoulder, and my wrist, right? Uh, they are therapeutic for me. Drawing is very therapeutic. Talking to myself, apparently, is very therapeutic. And nuts. So as you're looking at my blank canvas right here, I'm going to start drawing. But before I do, I need a reference image, right? So let's go ahead and open up. Come on. Let's open up Pinterest. Um, if you hear any noise, you probably hear my crazy dog. Oh, hey, look, there's a cat. Um, you probably hear my Malinois right now. Oh, what was that? I've drawn this girl on Dark Skin Beauty before. And she's not there. I've drawn her before too. What the flip? What the flip? Yeah, that girl in the Dark Skin Beauty, I've definitely drawn her before. Let's draw a bird. Let's draw a bird. I'm gonna type in bird. See what happens. Ooh, look at that. We've got a bird, dead center. Let's go ahead and draw this. What is this, a cockatoo? Cockatoo, cockatoo, oh no, it's a, it's a story bird, never mind. Ooh, I'm definitely not drawing that one on the bottom right. It'd probably look accurate though. Let's draw the one with the mustache. Let's draw, I don't know what it is. Let's draw this, and I don't know how to draw birds that well, even though um, I just don't, <laughs> all right? Let's stop talking about it. Um, I don't do birds very well. They taste delicious, probably why. I'm gonna start with a circle. I almost start off every drawing with a circle, whether portrait, animal, uh, anything really that I can think of. I, I kind of start with a circle and because I see everything from a circle. I see the circle on his head, I see the circle for his eyes, his body, and I go from there. So I use my, my wrist, right, and my shoulder. I try not to get too wristy on it. Dang, I'm, I'm been talking this whole time. You guys are like, put some freaking ink on the on the page already. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw, right, using my shoulder. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So that's my loose drawing. Doesn't that bird look amazing already? Nope. Uh, all right, cool. And I'm gonna draw another eye just as a kind of a reference, but well, not another eye, another circle, all right? I know this thing kind of is gonna come off and do its thing. And I'm not trying to draw a bird. And it's probably gonna turn out not to be a bird at all anyway. Someone's gonna come in here and say, your bird sucks, bro. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're right. Where's your damn bird at though? Um, right? And then that little hook, that little hook right there. Oh man, I can't even do anything about that. So either way, let me go ahead and zoom out some more. And with that hook right there, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Kind of flatten that out. 
and I see how ooh, some of this hair is coming up. Nice little hairdo you got. I don't like your feathers, homie. Um, so, as I stated earlier, drawing for me has become very therapeutic. Oh, there you are. Um, and the reason for it is it gives me an out. It, it definitely calms me down. Like when I'm ready to if I can't go run, like I haven't been able to go work out the same, um, like running and stuff, high impact sports, because I'm going through physical therapy for my knees and they have been hurting over the last 30 plus years of skateboarding and, you know, running around playing, playing cool guy with the Navy and not being very cool at all. Nope. So I'm going to try and attempt to, dr dang, this barely looks nothing. <laughs> Nothing like, oh man, I didn't even hit the stop sign or the stopwatch. Let's give myself a minute or two on that. How, how much time is it? Six? I think I started. I think I'm two minutes in. Let's give myself another three minutes. <laughs> it's not going to look anything like a bird. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, and I don't study bird anatomy very well. I don't study any anatomy outside of human anatomy. And uh, I don't really mind that either because at least I'm a human, so... I kind of know my own body more than some other animal or some other creature, but you have to understand anatomy. As I'm telling you, I don't study it for this creature I'm doing. I'm trying to do this as a lesson for me to see if I'm able to kind of like sight draw, right? Draw what I see in a very short amount of time. I'm not trying to sit here and, and do all the fancy schmancy uh, measurements and stuff like that. I'm just trying to capture, not a likeness, but when I'm drawing this, I'm not trying to have it look like a, you know, a dinosaur or a tiger at the end of this. And if it does, then sh oh well, then if you want a tiger with some wings, you holler at me if you need it. Like as I said it before, this is mainly a, a drill just to see am I able to kind of capture a quick uh, image of what it is that I do see. Uh, I'm going to take this part of the wings and then Dang, man, this bird. Nah, nah, fam. <laughs> this bird's like, yo, I ain't looking like that. Okay, well, maybe you don't. But, uh, that's what you look like right now. A whole freaking perch going on over here. Some bark. See, I think I'm trying to do too much. See, while this bird is definitely, uh, remember I said these are five to ten minutes sketches. I think I'm definitely like way past the five minute mark. I think I'm doing too much detail or I'm attempting to, uh, but at the same time, the reason I'm doing these as a sketch and as a, as a, uh, a drill is because it, it does keep me honest. And there are times where I literally, I get so lost and trying to get detail or trying to do something that it, it takes away from the image because I'm not putting in as much time as I should if I'm actually giving myself good measurements and stuff like that. I'm trying to, like, in a way, this is essentially a rushed, not for a video, it's rushed for me, right? I actually do this more than anything. My iPad is full of crap like that, um, of me kind of rushing through drawings. And people say, oh man, that's amazing. I love that drawing. And I'm like, really? I did that in like five minutes. And when they, um, they say, I couldn't do that in five hours, it's kind of like, oh, it makes me feel good. It also makes me feel like, <clears throat> dang, you guys suck that bad? Like five hours? Damn. Um, the other parts about it is, let's go ahead and see if I can. 
get this. And, and I do get lost as heck sometimes on my drawings, like really lost. I'll get so lost that it will, it will look nothing like what I was initially attempting to, uh, to capture, right? In, in the drawing or, or, or anything like that. Uh, hopefully it's starting to look like a bird. Nope. <laughs> or something that perches. All right, so um, yeah, this bird is totally fornicated. Um, this is a quick five to 10 minute sketch. I'm gonna go ahead and stop on that, go ahead and reset. Uh, I'm gonna hit this uh, layers. Go ahead and hit the plus in the upper right. Bam, got a new layer. I'm gonna hit this check mark next to N, which stands for normal. That's the blending mode, it's in normal. I'm gonna hit the check mark to the right and get rid of it. Now I'm going to be drawing on the second layer and the first layer that we made with this bird is gone. Um, and not gone forever, but gone where I can't see it. So it's not gonna distract me. Um, ooh. I want some cereal now. Um, let's, oh, pissed dog. That dog doesn't look pissed off at all. I don't like cats, but let's go with cats. Help me out, guys. Help me out. What? Oh my gosh. Um... Um, sure, let's try to, nope, I want to draw a drawing, All right, portrait of a lion, what is this, why am I looking at stories, good gosh, what does that say, okay, now that just looks fake. And it's a goddamn animation again. Are there any stills? Are there any stills? Bear with me. Don't click off the video yet. Don't click yet. Sure. <laughs> Five to ten minute sketch. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a circle. Like the last one, I feel like I got a rush on this one because, uh, start. I feel like I got to do something quicker. That way I don't lose you guys. Oh, dang, where am I start? Oh, I'm going to start with a triangle for a nose. Just so you guys know, I'm not trying to draw his nose. Um, I'm just going to draw like the, the, the common shape for like the nose, which is a triangle. And then from there, I see right out here. You know, after the uh, nasal region, right? Looks like that. Um, kind of comes up over t here. I'm going to draw two beady looking eyes. Now, I notice the eye is on the left side or right side. I'm sorry. It's, it's outside the nose. If I was to take his nose and go straight up, the eye is directly furthest away from it. So I can't draw the eye over here um, because I know straight up and down it would hit it would hit some nose. And this eye over here is kind of so if I was to draw a line straight down, I shouldn't hit any nose whatsoever. Um, that's how I do my like visual quick reference drawings. Uh, okay, the other eye almost the same. Almost. All right. So I'm just going to draw it like that. I know their eyes kind of come down, go up. I love the color of a lion's eyeball. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it.
All right, so that's that. Two minutes in. Goodness, I'm over here running my mouth. About nothing, apparently. So let me go ahead. Now I feel like I need to do the nose. Because I did too much. Hopefully you guys are starting to see it. If I was to look at the bottom of that eye, right? That eye is in shadow at the top. I'm just going to put a little, little reference there. So at the top of the right eye, which is on the left side, say that fast. And if I was to go straight down, right? Like straight down, whoops, straight down like this. That's where I would kind of see that uh, jowl. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of just rough in this, followed by a little bit of that, a little beeping, a little bopping, and then not as much on that side. Now this is still me not doing any like real uh, decently timed, three minutes, 36 seconds, decently timed uh, lay-in, right? I think that's one of the most important parts of a drawing. And it's one of the parts I suck at the most. I do not give my t myself the chance to do a lay-in. I do approach a lot of my drawings as I do right now, where I just kind of come in here and instantly start tagging it up, right? And just start hitting this thing up. And I'm like, yeah, dog. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't get it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend you do that. I wouldn't recommend you just kind of dive in there. Um, now, I've been drawing big cats for a while, nowhere near as much as Aaron Blaze. He actually inspired me to get into digital art. First time I saw one of his digital arts, uh, speed paintings, I swear to God, I thought it was like a picture on the thumbnail. And then I watched him draw it, and I was just like, I was like, man, I'm going to be just like him one day. Nope. That's what I said to myself, but I knew what the real answer was. All right, and uh, kind of going to go in here. Four minutes, 45 seconds. I'm not stopping directly at the five minute mark, even though I'm kind of, yeah, maybe I am, because I don't want to do too much. All right, these whiskers right here on the bottom, or not whiskers, but uh, see, I could just come in here with this um, to kind of give it more of that texture for the beard. Um, go in here right now and just darken in with some, with some line weight. Just go ahead and darken in the parts of the mouth, darken in the nostril or nasal cavity. That's a good start. Um, a lot of people are too afraid to put dark stuff into their drawings. I was definitely and still am one of them at times. Um, and there are some times where I just like, oh, send it, full send, right? I do not care because it might look like trash to me. And that's how some of my best drawings actually <laughs> turned out. I was like, man, this is garbage. And I honestly just built up layers. Now you can never just shade or layer up a piece of trash. If your drawing starts off as trash, it's gonna end as a, a really, you know, um, nice piece of trash, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, I'd say, oh, uh, yeah, you did all this other cool stuff, but it still was a piece of trash like, like 400 strokes ago. And uh, that wasn't to encourage or discourage you, it was just, I got some random crap that went through my head and came out of my mouth. Okay, this line looks way worse than it did earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and stop him. Boom, add a new one. Um, uh, 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 let's do a fish. All creatures I don't draw very often. Oh, dang. I type in fish and literally fish swimming. Oh, damn, dude. This fish has a freaking forehead. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? What? This fish has a forehead. You know what? What's up with these forehead having fish? I don't want to draw anything too intricate. I just want to get something quick. 
dog. Dude, why is everything moving? Like, everything is moving that I want to draw, at least. I don't like those dogs. What in the actual hell am I looking at right now? Uh, dude, these stories are killing me. Like, if I wanted to draw that, let's draw people. Let's draw a portrait. Give me a five to ten minute sketch on this portrait. Oh, man, I drew this old man before. Um, ew. It looked really good, but looked really bad. And it's kind of like a... Because I guess like the photo was so, like, damn. You know what I mean? Let me see what I would try and draw him in, in a five to ten minute. How long have I been recording? 21 minutes? Oof. Who's still here? Who's still here? Raise your hand. So I'm going to start off with a circle. This is going to be super rushed. But... What isn't what isn't rushed in life the, these days? I'm gonna try and get or attempt to get this uh, headpiece that he's wearing, all right? And then it's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go ahead and kind of lay in that ear, or at least where I think the ear is, because it's pretty, pretty long, pretty big. It's a large feature on his body to me, at least. Um, is this ear. It's not like it's like, oh, he's got little ears. Like, no, he has humongous ears. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, ears, brow ridge, uh, things that pop out like that on older people, are they never stop growing or, or getting bigger, um, even when we get old. Uh, okay, so from that ear, he's got his hair line kind of coming in here and tapering off and tucking itself under this yarmulke looking headpiece all right so now and then I'm gonna see his forehead kind of come off and then do like a, a little s shape Okay, from his, the bottom of his uh, nose is definitely past his earlobe, all right? So I'm going to guess, right, from over here, that his nose, I'm just literally going to draw a ball right here. That may suck, right, for some of you. You're like, damn, dude, how are you going to hook him up like that? And then I'm going to draw that nostril, or at least what I think that nostril would be. Hopefully you guys are starting to see what I'm seeing. That doesn't mean what I'm doing is right at all. It means that's just so you understand that's where I'm coming from. Coming from where I'm from. I'm from. Damn, sorry, old man. Oh gosh, giving myself like these these five minute sketches. He's got very thick eyelashes. Or brows. So from the bottom of his hair, straight over, I see a line. I see this. Comes down to this V. eyeball is in there a lot of this has been in shadow and because of it it's really really hard to damn Ooh, dang I wonder if I could show you guys the original photo not the photo the original drawing it didn't look too bad but I didn't give myself five minutes either um, and I'm not recording this either god dang it give me the buzzer <coughs> gotta give myself the damn buzzer for that one This is why you don't rush when you draw. Because I am rushing so much, it doesn't even look like him in any way. And 
I feel bad because I don't like jacking up people, but sometimes, sometimes that shit happens. Sometimes I have to stop, pause, and get my little, uh, um, whatever this is called, my guidelines and stuff like that. I feel like I need to move this eye full blown up. But, does it need to be bigger? Small? Actually, no, I don't know. I'm going to leave it where I had it. Sorry. And, I mean, he's got plenty of wrinkles under his eyes that will age him really quick. That nose, I did his nose a disservice. Did I do his nose a disservice or him a disservice with the nose? Yeah, that doesn't look like him. I was trying to attempt to do him, um, but yeah, I can clearly see, like even his helix over here and the uh, anti helix has seen uh, better days, you know. When it comes to drawing people, um, I'll draw somebody else. Ugh. Now I do this a lot. Now I don't do it all the time. Hey, I drew this. I drew this dingus before too. Um, I think it was a five to ten minute sketch. Let me just kind of head and show you. Where does it say? Where is it? Where is it? Portraits. I think that was a five to ten minute one. Hell, I don't know. But uh, mm, I'm not drawing him again. Clearly. What the hell? I know where this original uh, drawing, or at least who the who the dude is, um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Cool. Don't want to draw him. The only good thing I do like about drawing celebrities, or at least attempting to draw celebrities, is because they have very recognizable faces. People are able to say, "Oh, who is that?" I drew Daniel Radcliffe on a five to ten minute sketch, and someone someone called it out and said, "Oh, nice Daniel Radcliffe he threw in there." Now I don't even know who he was. Because I never watched any of the Harry Potter films. And I mean literally none of them. That doesn't mean you suck for watching them. I'm just saying I don't watch that stuff. And the only time I seen that dude was when he was a little dude. He was a little kid with a stick like this. Bam. Right? So to see him older, I was like, who the hell is that? And I remember someone was like, oh, that's the Harry Potter dude. I was like, oh, whatever. And I drew him without knowing it. And sure enough, someone called it out, and I looked it up, and I was like, oh my god, that's the dude from Harry Potter. Um, but it kind of helped me out, because I was like, Who, who's Daniel Radcliffe, and why am I trying to draw him? I know his name now. Um, but, and, oh my god, this is the same image. This is the image that I drew of him. See? It just I type in portrait, that dude shows up. I looked at it, and I was like, he has some interesting hair right here. And I just started sketching this dude in. And uh, sure enough, they liked it. As I'm talking about the story, the image shows up. That could not have been timed any more perfect. So I'm going to just attempt to do one more. Um, I honestly don't want to do any of these right now. I want to give myself something with a 5 to 10 minute. Uh, actually, any of these I could do in 5 to 10 minutes, right? That's part of uh, challenging yourself. I typed in all this other stuff. 
Um, my dog is over here pissing me off still. He's been a bad dog today. What do I want to draw? God dang it. Someone tell me what to draw. This, I feel kind of dumb because I'm talking to myself and I'm going to have to watch this like 400 times before you watch it once or even make it through a little bit of it. Um, but damn, I really want to draw something. I draw a lot of stuff, but what, are, what am I drawing? Let me draw, uh, did I type in? Let me draw an eagle. Um, I love eagles. I love eagles so much I get them tatted on me. Oh my god, again, yet again, I say something and it pops up. So this eagle right here is the same eagle that's used as a reference image for my tattoo. That is wild, right? The uh, wing that you see that's cut off turned into the flag. But that is the same daggum eagle that is tattooed on my chest. Here's a better version of it. Crazy. Ooh. I don't think I've uh, drawn a bird squawking or trying to attempt to squawk or get your big mammalian self out of my face right now. I'll play with you in a little bit. Um, he's been bad today too. I'm not really in a good mood with him, but I'm not going to ignore him. But right now I sure as hell am. Um, because I'm hanging out with all of you hours from now. Um, so this is just what I do. Gonna do this, gonna do a little bit of that, gonna beep over here, gonna bop back up, and then gonna kind of kind of a straight line past where the beak would be at. Um, it's gonna kind of come to this weird point right here. And as I stated before, um, I'm not attempting to draw this bird. Nope. Right, you're probably like, what? That's exactly what you said you were doing. I'm like, no, no, no. That's what you think I'm doing. I'm drawing shapes that I see this bird's doing. And if it turns into a bird, Eureka, right? Then great. If it doesn't, stop. Stop while you're ahead. Don't get used to doing or completing trash drawings. Um, now, I'm not saying you shouldn't start somewhere because you definitely should. And if all your birds or drawings suck, then maybe you are rushing. I know right now I definitely feel like I'm rushing. I gave myself a five to ten minute thing. I couldn't find anything to draw. Uh, and now that I'm actually doing this, I kind of don't want to, not saying lose you guys, trying to keep it entertaining for those people who give a crap. There are some videos I, I love the content, I love the creator, and they just lose me instantly with certain subject matter or um, like even my favorite artists. I can't watch them do live stream drawings. Like at all. Um, I posted stuff and someone was like, oh my gosh. I want to see you do it live. And I'm like, okay, some, some people like that. I do too, but I think I know why other people don't. Um, because you, you, end up, you, you tend to talk too much about whatever you're not doing or should be doing, which is drawing. And so I can definitely see how you'll lose, you know, your, your, not just your fan base, but like your audience. I mean, they may still be a fan, but they'll say, I'll wait for you to finish that damn video and then do the time lapse or I'll wait for you to whatever, right? Because I've definitely done that before too. Um, a lot of artists I follow on Instagram before my account was robbed. Um, I literally just had my Instagram account hacked to death the other day. Gone. Gone with the wind. I had that account shit for a while. And it is not mine anymore. So, uh, staying true to the whole uh, five to ten minute mark, I'm trying to give myself some sort of likeness, right? That it that it don't, not only is an eagle, but looks like this eagle, and uh, only things, only certain things can actually categorize. Or, or I'm sorry, only certain characteristics, god dang, characteristics can give this eagle that type of thing. Now, am I going to capture this eagle's entire likeness in five minutes? Nope. I am attempting to, if I was to go show this to anybody right now and say, hey man, what was I drawing? And if they go, a T-Rex, I'd be like, all right, you're close. Um, but if they say, what is it, an eagle or a raptor of some sort, I'm actually happy with that. 
Now, at one point, I would be like pissed off. I'd be like, oh my God, it doesn't look like the eagle. And I think the reason for it is I was trying to draw an eagle. Instead, I draw what I see on the eagle until it turns into an eagle. And then it flies off the page. And then everything's fine. Right? Um, and then they have these big wavy, you know what I mean? Like these big wavy S, S curves and, and lines. And I don't feel like getting into all that right now. I really don't. I just wanted to kind of see about getting this eagle's likeness a little bit, right? And then I didn't want to get in here and start trying to get intricate details of its eye. I would be zoomed all the way in doing stuff like that over here if that was my goal. Right, so just kind of wanted to let you guys know this is a warm up for me on, on how I actually get my eyes, my arms, and every other part of my body uh, mentally and physically loose so that I can actually go and do a digital painting of, of something. It, it may be the same thing. I may come back and say, hey, I really like that eagle pose. I'm going to come back to it later. Uh, but I just want to show you guys, these are some of my five to ten minute sketches. I think I have three now four whatever right and I'll go ahead and lay this one on top eagles fly uh, they can be up top what the heck is this the old man sorry bro um, <laughs> bottom bottom left the unfinished lion that's what the old man's looking at like what the heck is that right and as he's standing there he doesn't realize he's got a little last bird um, sitting on top of his freaking head like that all right so uh, so this is my first second first second third fourth all right so these are my reference images or not reference images but this is what I did this is my five to ten minute sketch um, the thumbnail ones I've been drawn those before and then I have a little five to ten um, sketch thing but once again, I definitely highly suggest you practice this. Don't take my word for it. Take all the other YouTube artists uh, as well. Practice, practice, practice. You cannot go up there and just start drawing something from the start. You do have to put in that practice. Hopefully you didn't already click off the video. Um, I'll put some other quick speed paint video up if you wanted to see it somewhere, wherever they were gonna go, uh, just to help you guys uh, see them. I got to the point where if I was to show you my first um, ever, matter of fact, I could probably do it right now. If I was to show you guys some other stone, look at all my stuff. Not that you can't, not that I can stop you. Um, oof, I have a lot of unfinished birds. Don't worry about my birds. All right, so this right here was one of my first birds I drew. I was super proud of this, and guess what? I still am proud of it. And uh, I had so much crap on here. <laughs> I got like four different layers with a beak. I have a lot of stuff on here, right? Multiply feathers because the blending mode was set to multiply, and then you know, I jacked up some stuff, right? Look at the feathers. Look at that detail, right? And uh, I did this, and I was like, heck yeah, dude. I'm it. I'm going to be the next Aaron Blaze. <laughs> and then, you know, I started drawing it and doing a little faster and, and doing some quick sketches. And that eagle turned out better. The beak is a lot softer. It's not a super sharp, you know, uh, thing like my other one. And uh, this one I just did this past August of last year. So this is about... Um, five months old and this is my background as well it's also now that I'm thinking about it, it's also my watch face right I have a, I have a watch face with my eagle on it um, because I really like that eagle I drew it for a buddy whose last name was eagle he asked me to draw him a bird I did he asked me to draw him an eagle I drew one he never he never received payment I literally printed this thing out for him he never gave me his address um, so either way I can I like this bird way better then I do that first one and all it did was take me to do a lot of practice a lot of anatomy studies of birds and their skulls and stuff like that so hopefully this is some encouragement this video isn't too long it's at close to 40 minutes right now so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm the only one watching this during post process um, so either way I hope you guys like the video this is PH Darren the artist uh, and not the gun dude at this moment and I uh, hope you guys like this quick five to ten minute sketch tutorial and hear me rant about absolutely nothing.